What's up with y'all boys, man? As you can tell by the title. And as you can see, we in the Rick with randoms. And I'm on point guard. The last time I went into the Rick with randoms on a PG was like 2K21, bro. I ain't gonna cap. But before we get into the video, uh, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Roll to 1K. And uh, make sure y'all go check out my last video as well. It's the Playmaker Sharpshooter build. And I'm gonna be showing this build that I'm using in, uh, later on in the video, uh, along with animations and everything. So yeah, let's get straight into it. First possession at PG in the record randoms in four years. And what's the first thing I do? Throw a turnover. But you gotta be kidding me. Like this is this is quite carnivorous right here. I ain't gonna cap. But after that turnover next position, you know, I'm looking at the court. I see dude steady dropping down. So I was like, zip, straight dot on his stupid head cell. But I'll punch him in the head next time he tried to leave dude open like that. But I, I was going to do like clip by clip gameplay. But I was like, nah, let me go ahead and just get this game out the way. Because, spoiler, we lost this game. So I ain't no need to just be dragging this game on, commentating, and showing all my highlights. Or like just showing like what was going on in my head. We just gonna go and skip past all this. You can see I was shooting that thing, catch and shoot. But yeah, we going this is a build video, so why I'm not even saying nothing about the build for real. This build can shoot, finish, pass, and dribble. But and you think since I got all of that, I wouldn't have no defense, but this build also got a 91 steal, bruh. Like, come on now. Come on now, like that's crazy, you feel me? But yeah, so if you want to see this build, or you want to see how I made the build, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to be showing y'all, like, um, the actual attributes and individual attributes of how I made this player. And yeah, we did lose this game. But um, I got another game at the end that's way better than this. This was my first game ever playing PG in the Red Random since, like, 2K20, 2K21, bro. You feel me? I wanted to show y'all that, to show it ain't always going to be sweet, you feel me? Here go my animations. We're gonna use this as an inter intermission. You feel me? Go ahead and hit that like button if you made it this far in the video. And I appreciate you for watching the video this far in general. You feel me? But yeah, this is just a little quick intermission. Hit that subscribe button too. Roll to 1K like I said earlier. Yeah, let's get straight back into it. Is it crazy I hadn't played on the new patch yet? Like all this gameplay is pre-patch. <laughs> Like, I hadn't played on a new patch. I don't even know how shooting or anything feel on, the, like, the newest version of the game. Like, I don't even know. But as you can see, I started this game off. I was getting a whole bunch of assists. And I was like, I already knew this game was going to be a good game. Because that's what I really be wanting to do when I come into the rig on PG. I just want to get assists. You feel me? Look at this pick and pop. I wish that pass when it took that long. This player actually has a high pass rating. But check this out right here. Dude that I was going came down. And I think he was shooting like, I think he had like a 96 three-pointer or something. And he was shooting like 60 or 70% from three. So I felt some kind of way when he hit that three. Because that was the first time he scored. So I came down, pulled that thing up, bro. <laughs> For real. I ain't going to care. But yeah, in the rig, I mainly just be looking to pass, bro. As you can see, another assist right here. Um, and this player, dude, got an 87 pass accuracy. Honestly, I want to remake it with like a 91. Because I seen... Uh, Lamelo, I was playing with Lamelo, player, actual player. He got like a 93 pass accuracy, and his animations was just like quicker than mine is on this player. And I got on Lamelo ball pass package too. But you see that pass right there, that's crazy. But yeah, um, I'm thinking that it just don't speed up the pass speed. Now it it speeds up the animation to how your pass accuracy is. And as you can see, that shot I ignored it the first time, but. This shot right here was insane to me. I had to run it back so y'all could see it. But yeah, y'all see all these passes. And like I said earlier, this build do got defense. It's got it's got a high steal, I say that. You feel me? And uh, yeah, you see these touch passes and these dots. You see that pass to the corner. Oh my goodness. Like I knew the center was gonna drop right there. And I was just waiting on them to drop. You see me get the board, come down the court, uh pushing the break. And I get this uh, corner fade, three Bradley Bill pull-up jump, as y'all seen when I showed my animation. But, yeah, I really be wanting to look at the touch pass. I just, I keep on cutting myself off, but, but yeah, these, like, I be really wanting to be pass first when I go to the rec. And that's one of the main reasons I just stopped playing PG in the rec with randoms and just PG in rec in general for, like, the past few years. Because 
I really couldn't do, play how I wanted to play as a point guard. You feel me? Like I, per I'd be perfectly fine with like 12 points and 12 assists, then 30 points and two assists. You feel me? I don't. Yeah. All right, we gonna get straight into how I made the build. I'm gonna try not to yap too much. That's why I usually end up like most of my when I'm showing the build. It usually be post commentary because I tend to start talking and yapping a lot when I'm talking about the build and why I did certain stuff. Look, I, I'm gonna try to streamline this as much as possible. You wanna go six four? I went 177 on the weight, and then I went with a seven foot wingspan, just because I, I wanted my arms to be long. Considering the fact that I'm a small guard in the first place, I wanted to have long arms. You feel me? Now um, we're gonna start off with the finishing. I went with an 84 driving layup, and I think that's all I touched in my finishing was my layup. And then I went with a go down here to the shooting and with a 73 mid range. I wish I, I want to remake this build with a higher mid range, even though I do I can hit with a eight, uh, 73 mid range. Uh, I would like to have a higher mid range so I could just be pulling that midi up for real. You feel me? But yeah, uh, 85 free throw, 88 three pointer. Uh, I, basically, all of my guard builds right now got a 88 three pointer, bro. You feel me? I feel like that's just like a perfect sweet spot, a budget sweet spot. If you want to be elite at shooting, but you don't want to go like 90 plus with your shooting, you feel me? Um, down here to the pass accuracy. Got an 87 pass. Like I said early in the video, got an 87 pass. 92 ball handle and a 90 speed with ball so I can get that Kyrie Irving dribble style, you feel me? Uh, go down to the interior defense. I got a 60 interior. And you may be wondering why I'm like hesitating a little bit before I upgrade something. Because I got it wrote down in my notes. Like all my individual attributes on my player. Uh, perimeter defense. Honestly, this is how I upgraded my um, defense. I just put my steel up all the way to a 91. And whatever that left my uh, perimeter defense, that's where it was going to be. And I think I ended up just going up to like a 72. You had to get bronze fast feet. So yeah, I got a 72 perimeter with a 91 steal. And then um, I got a 30 defensive rebound that just got upgraded over something else. 85 speed. And um, I made this player before we really knew about the acceleration. And you know, like you could really not go with a super high acceleration for real. So, but yeah, I made mine with the 89 Excel 85 speed. And you get like I said, go blow by real like a real slept on badge. If you can get it on your player, try to get it as high as you can, bro. You feel me? But um, yeah. And then I went with a 99 stamina, and it's something that I could upgrade. I got a 36 strength. That's what it is. So yeah, that's the build. I hope I ain't talk too long. Once you're going through with this. Um, you're gonna get compared to Trey on Darius Garland and Kirk Heinrich. I don't know what it was when I was first making my guard build, but they was comparing all my guards to Kirk Heinrich for some reason. But yeah, uh, this the build. If you enjoyed the video, um, you just enjoyed it, man. You feel me? And I'll see y'all in the next one. Come on.